game. Um, you know, just an opportunity for us to, to, to defend our home court. Um, you know, obviously we, we want to get back on, on that track. Um, thought at Michigan State we scored it, we scored enough points, we just went, did play in defense. Um, you know, gave up way too many points. Just transition buckets, let's see, uh, 28 points off our turnover, turnovers, 28 points off fast break points, so 56. Like, if we can keep the game, make them play in the half court, then maybe we'll give ourselves a chance. Now, they play kind of a very unique style. They mm -hmm. have, like, five guards on the court. Um, yeah. So, yeah. what's kind of the situation there? Without giving too much of your game plan. No, they, they play really hard. Um, you know, Robin has come in and, and just given all of them kind of the freedom to, to just play and hope, and um, they fully embraced it. Um, they, they, they play really hard, all 94 feet. Um, you know, they, they hedge ball screens, switch ball screens, front, inside, and the post, really physical. Um, but they all shoot it and they all drive it. So it kind of puts you in a little bit of a, a, a you know, a, a pickle in terms of like, you know, we don't guard the basketball very well off the bounce. And, um, you know, they just got some really skillful players that can do a lot of different things. So um, we'll have our hands full. Well, uh, I, I talked to Mary Ashley before this. Um, will she be having a, a big game? A lot of touches maybe down there. It would be great if, she, if we can get her the ball. Yeah. <laughs> it would be great, yeah. Um, to, to her and Caitlin, uh, both of them, you know, were not very good uh, when we played at Michigan State. Um, I think Caitlin maybe had six or eight points, no rebounds. Uh, Mary Ashley had five points, two rebounds. I know just it wasn't very productive night from either one of them. Um, you know, on, our, on the flip side, man, we got some great looks. We were down five to start the, four, the first quarter. Um, I mean, we got some great looks just to get down. And then kind of like a microcosm of just how our season goes when we don't hit open shots, it's just kind of deflating. So I think we're going to get them. Um, and when we don't knock out outside shots, just make a conscious effort to throw the ball into to 34 and 20 inside. Yeah, and then um, they, the way they've, they've had their seasons gone anyway, yeah. um, they've they battled some yeah. top of the conference on no the doubt. road. Um, haven't been able to, to come up with wins. You guys have had some games like that, um, but what does that say about them? You know. Yeah, they're they're just they're really gritty. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna grind things out. Like they they probably should have won the game in Iowa um, earlier in the season. Um, played Indiana really well. Um, you know, I, they just got the win against Michigan, and that's the rival that you know the same with us in, in Indiana. But um, a lot of kids that just a lot of a lot of experience, a lot of fifth years out there with with some experience and. You know, playing like they got nothing to lose and, and having a lot of fun doing it. So, makes for a, de a dangerous combination. I just how Caitlin and Mary Ashley have kind of learned to work together in yeah, the post. Yeah, Caitlin has been great. I think you can talk to Mary Ashley or anybody else like um, how Caitlin has led Mary Ashley. Mary Ashley doesn't have the success she has if Caitlin's not on our team. Um, and Caitlin's going to, or yeah, Mary Ashley's going to be better in her career because of having a year um, with Caitlin's guidance. Awesome. Um, Ab Abby Ellis, um, you know, season's running out in her last year. Um, when you recruited her, brought her over from, um, you know, the, the Pac-12, um, how big has she been, you know, as, as an yeah. early player and, and honestly one of, the, one of the faces of your program the last few years? Yeah, so I, I think I, Tim told me that, what, the, the 12th fastest player to 1,000 points, um, if I got that right. She, uh, I mean, she just, uh, she, she, she's got a, a contagious energy about who she is. Um, both ways, right? Like when she's got high energy, good energy, like we feed off of it. And when things get tough, like we feed off of that. And so getting her to, to embrace that uh, down the stretch here, um, you know, whether she's scoring or not, she just impacts our game and, um, you know, our team. And for for three years, just being able to, to kind of watch her fly around out there, um, sometimes doing what we say, sometimes not, you know, just doing her own thing. But uh, it's just, it's been fun. Like she's just, uh, She's an energy on the court, but an energy in life that you just uh, you love to be around. So back to the Michigan State game, the first time you guys played them, you know, obviously it didn't come away with what you wanted and a lot of mistakes were made and, you know, saw some things that needed to be fixed. Going into this game tomorrow, how have you seen your team grow since that last matchup? Yeah, it's, um, we have, um, I, you know, I, I think we, we compete differently. I, I think um, outside of the Indiana game, um, down in place and thought we just kind of quit and didn't compete and that was kind of disheartening. Um, we played hard against Nebraska. Didn't always play smart, but we played hard. Um, you know, and I think if a couple shots go down, you know, Nebraska's in fourth place in the league and we lose by 12 points. We can make a couple more shots there in that third quarter to do the time change a little bit for us. 
So um, for us down the stretch, it's, it's focusing on us and, and, you know, trying to figure out how do we win a game when we don't shoot it well. Um, but uh, hopefully one of these days, I think we get good luck, so hopefully one of these days these, uh, the ball will go in for us. And just the importance of playing at home. You guys have obviously shown when you guys are at home. Like you said, I think like two weeks when I talk to you, you're a completely different team. So yeah. what is it going to mean facing this team at Mackey Arena this time? Yeah, just uh, trying to feed off our crowd. I know it's a Wednesday. We've had some really good crowds. They've been on the weekend. So hopefully, you know, the, the fans will still come out for us. Um, they, they our, our, our fan base has been incredible. You know, we haven't, you know, our, our, the season hasn't translated the way or falling the way we wanted it to, but they've, they've been there for us, um, you know, and um, yeah, I think that's part of us building this place back to where it needs to be, but uh, people want to want to support a winner, so we got to make sure we're, we're trying to do our job here down the stretch. Awesome. Has that been one of the biggest challenges for this team is to not let the missed shots Man. affect the other areas of your game, and how do you, co- how do you end up coaching that? <laughs> well, we, I haven't done a, a, a really good job if we're losing uh, of that. Um, you know, it's you know you, you you ask them to get in the gym and get shots up on their own. You maybe we make some more time up in practice, but um, you know, like Abby, Madison, good shooters, Caitlin, good shooters, like um, self, good shooter. Uh, you know, like you know, just I don't know, like. Mm-hmm. Digging down a little bit deeper, I, I don't know that there's an answer, but um, or there hasn't been for us this year. But uh, you know, our, our our kids have continued to fight. If you would have shown up in practice yesterday and saw their fight and their energy um, and their willingness to compete for each other, there's no way you would have thought that we well, were two and eight in our last ten games. There's there's a lot of fights still left in our group. Not not as much about the offense, but just the other areas yeah. that seem to be affected by the missed shots. I you know I think that's I. I mean, I wish I had the answer. Mike. I know. <laughs> I wish I had the answer. I'm sorry, I don't. Right, but as you look forward in recruiting, can you identify that when you're looking at kids? I think and, so. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know, um, I think we have it in ourselves right now. I don't know that we've seen it or shown it, or maybe you know, internally we don't know how to show it. So, you know, trying to just get our group to understand, like we still got something to play for, like four games and. Um, you know, we still have a Big Ten tournament and, you know, an opportunity to, to, to kind of finish this out on the right note. Cool. Thank you.